Hi, Dr. Goldberg here, continuing our infectious disease series. Uh, today we're talking about uh, what the American Heart Association, the American Dental Association, and then we'll talk about the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgery, what they say about prophylaxis. Let's first talk about your standard prophylaxis for to prevent bacterial endocarditis for dental procedures. This is this problem's been bantered around for decades. Um, and finally, we're seeing that there really is not, for the most part, an increased risk for endocarditis for most dental procedures uh, in most patients with, with cardiac disease. Uh, there are a couple of exceptions. <clears throat> if somebody has a history of bacterial endocarditis in the past, they've had a heart transplant. Uh, if they've had congenital heart disease or they've had congenital heart surgery, um, and if they have a prosthetic heart valve, those well, certainly are all indications for uh, appropriate antibiotic, antibiotic prophylaxis with amoxicillin. Or if they're allergic to penicillin, certainly you can use cefadroxyl or even clindamycin. But for most people who have just heart murmurs from whether it be mitral valve prolapse, aortic sclerosis, or mitral valve disease, these people do not need prophylaxis. So that's very important because there's an o a lot of overuse of uh, antibiotics in this setting uh, across, the, uh, across the United States. Now, the other topic that uh, it needs to be discussed is when people have prosthetic hips in, prosthetic knees, because that's where most of the studies have been done, but any kind of a prosthesis. Um, this has been looked at for decades as well. And the most recent stance by the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgery, as well as the <clears throat> Infectious Disease Society, American Heart Association, uh, excuse, excuse me, the American Dental Association, is that antibiotic prophylaxis is not needed for patients who have prostheses in. So that's important. Uh, we, up until 2007, if patients had had a new prosthesis in for two years, we were suggesting prophylaxis. I think that still may be reasonable, but certainly for people who have had prostheses in for years, they do not need to get prophylaxis uh, when they have an invasive procedure or when they have some type of a, uh, a dental procedure. Um, these are uh, new guidelines. So take those to heart uh, as you advise your patients. Thank you. Dr. Goldberg signing off.